for he's worthy to be praised. Let's just magnify his name. He's all sufficient. He's all powerful. He's the mighty man in battle. He's the king of kings. He is the Lord of Lord. We magnify his name because he's worthy to be praised. Let's just thank him. He's our great and mighty God. He's a God that we can rely on, we can depend on. He's the consuming fire. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright morning star. Let's just praise the name of the Lord for he is worthy to be praised. Let's just praise him because he's excellent. Let's just praise him because he's all powerful. Let's just praise him because he's mighty. Let's just praise the Lord because he's the king of kings, the Lord of Lord, our soon coming king, our master, our defender, our way maker, our provider and protector. Let's just thank him because to him alone that does great wonders and his mercies endure it forever. Let's just magnify the name of the Lord for he is great and greatly to be praised. Let's just thank him because he's the most high God. Let's just thank him because he's the king of kings. He's our way maker. He's our defender. He's great. He's powerful. He's too faithful to fail. Let's just thank him for all the blessings that he has given to us. Let's just thank him for all the testimonies that he has given to us. Let's just thank him because he is the ancient of days. Let's just thank him because he's a great and mighty God. Let's thank him because he is our deliverer and restorer. Let's thank him for he's our shield and the lifter of our heads. Let's thank him for this Our Fire program that we are here to cry out to him on behalf of the firstborns. Let's just thank him for his goodness and mercy never cease in our lives. In the name of Jesus, let's thank him because he's our battle axe. Let's thank him that we can rely on him. We can depend on him. We can cry out to him and say, great are you God and greatly to be praised. Let's thank the Lord for this wonderful day. This day that he has made that we are rejoicing and so exceedingly glad in. Let's thank him because he's our God. He's faithful. He's all powerful. He's all sufficient. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless your name and we say, great are you, God. We say, great are you, God, and greatly to be praised. Thank you for giving us families. Thank you for all the firstborns in the families. Thank you for giving us the grace to stand in the place of prayer. Thank you because you are a reliable God. Thank you because you are a dependable God. In the name of Jesus, we bless your name and say, great are you, God, and greatly to be praised. In the name of Jesus, thank you for you are our fortress. Thank you for you are our defender. Thank you for you are our master. Thank you for you are the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Ancient of days, we come before your presence and we say, be thou exalted. We come before your presence and we say, be thou magnified in the name of Jesus. Father, you deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. You deserve the praise. We worship you, almighty God. Thank you, Father, for all your blessings and all your miracles, Lord. Receive our prayers, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so God bless you, everyone, and welcome to our, our fire. And um, we thank God for this our fire hour that we can cry out to the Lord and trust him to do great and mighty things in our life. This is an hour that we can cry out to the Lord and ask him to part the Red Sea for us. This is the hour that we can cry out to the Lord for a last minute miracle, for a turnaround, for a breakthrough, for a testimony. So I just wanna welcome you today as we are gonna pray for the firstborn. We're gonna pray some prophetic prayers for firstborn. All right, so that's what we're gonna pray, prophetic prayers for the firstborn. All right, and so with that said, I just wanna encourage you to take the opportunity to like the video, share it with your friends, your family and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And also hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. And for those that are joining for the first time, every time we meet, we read the Bible. So we're in the book of Deuteronomy. We're actually at Deuteronomy chapter three. 
We're only going to look at Deuteronomy chapter 3 today because we're going to talk a little bit about the firstborn and we're going to read some scriptures. So it's only fair that we just look at one chapter of Deuteronomy. All right, so let's just get started with that. Deuteronomy chapter 3. I'm using the Names of God Bible version. Feel free to use whatever version of the Bible that you have access to. And um, we're going to trust God to work through us and the Holy Spirit to take control as we start this program. Okay, so let's do it. Deuteronomy chapter 3. Next, we turn and follow the road that goes to Bashan, King Og of Bashan, and all his troops came to fight us at Idiri. Yahweh said to me, don't be afraid of him. I'll hand him all his troops and his land over to you. Do to him what you did to King Sion of the Amorites, rule in Heshbon. So Yahweh, our Elohim, also handed King Og of, Og of Bashan and all his troops over to us. We defeated him, leaving no survivors. At that time, we captured all of, the city, all of his cities. There wasn't a city we didn't take. We captured a total of 60 cities, the whole territory of Argob, the kingdom of Og in Bashan. All of these cities were fortified with high walls and double, double door gates with bars across the gates. We also captured a large number of unwalled village. We claimed them all for God, destroying every city, including men, women, and children. As we did to King Sihon of Heshbon, however, we did loot the cities, taking all of the cattle and goods. We took the land of the two Amorites king east of the Jordan River from the Arnon Valley to Mount Hermon. The Sidonians call Mount Hermon by the name Sirion, and our rights called Sinir. We took all of the cities of the plateau, all of Gilead, and all of Bashan, as far as Salka and Ediri, cities of Og's kingdom in Bashan. Of the Rephim, only King Og of Bashan was left. His bed was made of iron and was more than 13 feet long and six feet wide. It is still in the Amorite city of Rabbah. At that time, we took possession of this land. I gave the tribes of Reuben and Gad, the land north of Arur, near the, the Arnon Valley and half of the mountain region of Gilead with its cities. I gave the rest of Gilead and all of Bashan ruled by Ag to half of the tribe of Manasseh. The whole territory of Argob in Bashan used to be called the land of Rephim. Jer, a descendant of Manasseh, took the whole territory of Argob as far as the border of the Geshurites. And the Machites, the settlements in Bashan, he named Havot, Jer, after himself. This is, their, this is still their name today. I gave Gilead to Mashir. I gave the tribes of Reuben and Gad some of Gilead from the Arnon Valley. The middle of the valley is the border to the Jabbok River, which is the border of Ammon. Their land included the plains around the Jordan River. The western border was a river from the Sea of Galilee to the Sea of the Plains, the Dead Sea, which is near Mount Pisgah on the east. I gave the tribes of Reuben and Gad and half of the tribe of Manasseh this command. Yahweh your Elohim has given you this land so that you can take possession of it. All your soldiers must be ready for battle when they cross the Jordan River ahead of the other Israelites. I know you have a lot of livestock. Your wives, children, and livestock must stay here in the cities that I gave you. Your soldiers will go with the other Israelites until they take possession of the land. Yahweh, your Elohim, is given to them on the other side of the Jordan River. Then they will have a place to rest as you have. After that, each of you may go back to the land I gave you. I also gave Joshua this command. You have seen with your own eyes everything that Yahweh, your Elohim, has done to these two kings. Yahweh will do the same to all of the kingdoms on the other side of the Jordan River where you're going. Don't be afraid of them because Yahweh, your Elohim, himself will fight for you. And I pleaded with Yahweh, Adonai Yahweh, you have only begun to show me how great and powerful you are. What kind of God is there in heaven or on earth? Who can do the deeds and the mighty acts you have done? Please let me go over and see the beautiful land on the other side of the Jordan River, those beautiful mountains in Lebanon. Yahweh was angry with me because of you, so he wouldn't listen to me. Yahweh said, that's enough out of you. Don't talk to me anymore about this. Go to the top of Mount Pisgah 
and look west, north, and south, and east. May you look at the land, but you will never cross the Jordan River. Give instructions to Joshua. Encourage and strengthen him because he will lead these people across the Jordan River and he will help them take possession of the land you see. So we stayed in the valley near Bet Peor. Amen. So that's the word of God right there in Deuteronomy chapter three. All right. So we're going to talk about the firstborn now. We're going to do some prophetic prayers for the firstborn. Okay. So the, the birth of the firstborn in every family is the beginning of one's physical and spiritual strength to produce. Okay, so parents, they always are always exceptionally happy with the arrival of their firstborn, and we would assume, hopefully. And so a lot of attention is often given to the firstborn of every family, in most cases, apparently. And so every family on earth, no matter how it seems, and no matter how it is seen, will always have one and only one firstborn. And so what becomes of the firstborn has great effect on the younger ones that follows that um, firstborn. Okay, so let's talk about some tradition now. So in the Jewish culture, the firstborn is seen as the most distinguished, exalted, or excellent. Double portion of the father's inheritance is usually allocated to the firstborn. And even God in the Bible specifically requested that every firstborn must be separated unto him. Amen. And so on the human anthropological studies, um, primogeniture is the concept that the firstborn inherits their permit, their parents' property. However, spiritually speaking, every firstborn usually faces several battles that make some fall short of their status and pretty much end up becoming nothing significant in the journey of life. And so the devil has never and will never take it easy with any firstborn. The simple reason is because the, if the firstborn gets the right, the tendency for others to get it right is easier. If the firstborn get it right, the tendency for the others will, to get it right will be easier. And so we see in the Bible, Cain was recorded as the very firstborn of human family in the Bible, yet he became the first murderer in human history, which is a tragedy. Let's look at scriptures. Let's turn over to Genesis chapter um, 4, 1 to 15. Let's look at Genesis chapter 4, 1 to 15. Let's do it. I'm using the, um, new, um, let me just use New King James because King James is a little bit hardcore. So I'm using the New King James Version of this Genesis chapter 4. Let's do it. Now Cain, sorry, now Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord, and she bore again, this time his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord, Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offerings, but he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. So the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the, at the door. And its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. Now Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel, your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's Blood cries out from, to me from the ground. So now you are cursed from the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. A fugitive and a vagabond, you shall be on the earth. And Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Surely you have driven me out this day from the face of the ground. I shall be hidden from your face. 
I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth. And it will happen that anyone who finds me will kill me. And the Lord said to him, therefore, whoever kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark on Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. Amen. So that's the scripture right there about the whole story of Cain and Abel. So we already said that Cain, he was recorded as the very firstborn of human family in the Bible. And yet what happened to him? He became the first murderer in human history. And we read that right there in the scripture. So when we look about also the Bible, we know another man named Esau. So Esau lost his birthright as the firstborn um, of Isaac because of food. If you don't know the story, we're looking in the same book of Genesis and we're going to look at that. So Genesis, let's keep your Bible at Genesis for now. So Genesis chapter 25, 29. And Jacob sawed pottage and Esau came from the field and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he ate and drank and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Amen? So that's the story of another firstborn there who have sold his birthright for food. Now let's look at another guy named Reuben. So Reuben was the firstborn, and he was cursed for his arrow of sleeping with his father's wife. Let's look at scripture to support that. Genesis chapter 49, 3 to 4. So Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. Unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed, and th then defilest thou it. He went up, he went up to my couch. Amen. So that's another story again, dear, of a first buy situation. We can see the trend and the pattern, even from a scriptural perspective. Now we have a great guy that, you know, really messed up so bad in scriptures. That was a firstborn. And maybe a lot of you can guess him. Samson. So Samson missed it in destiny as a firstborn and an anointed deliverer of Israel. And the reason why? Because of sexual looseness, because he was sexually loose. All right, so let's look at some scriptures. Let's turn to the book of Judges chapter 16, 28 to 31. Judges chapter 16, 28 to 31. Let's turn to the book of Judges right now. All right, so, and Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee. Only this once, O God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which it was borne up, of the one with his right hand and of the other with his left. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might, and the house fell upon the Lord's and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Then his brethren and all the house of his father came down and took him and brought him up and buried him between Zorah and Eshtaol in the burying place of Manoah, his father. And he judged Israel 20 years. Amen. So we see the unfortunate story of Samson, which is a tragic situation because some people are still, you know, <laughs> operating under the say, if you call it a spirit of Samson, where Delilah is really frustrating their destiny and life. A lot of men you see that happening too in this day and age. All right. So now we talk about a few people in the Bible. So we talk about a few more and then we're done. So Jonathan, as we know, was the was to be the king after his father Saul died in battle. 
And so it was a force that stopped his father that also stopped Jonathan. And so as a firstborn, you must live a life of complete dedication to God. You must fight battles and you must win. You must fight and win the battles of limitation that prevail over the previous generations. And also you must step into your divine inheritance and lay the path of ease for the coming generations after you. You know, we see the story of Jonathan. We see what happened. Instead of Jonathan become king, somebody has become king in his place. And that's a tragedy because that's a generational issue that affect him as a firstborn. Amen? So with that said, you know, maybe you are a firstborn. Maybe you're a mother. So if you're a mother, obviously you have a firstborn. You pray on behalf of your firstborn child. All right? If you don't have a child as a mother, if you don't have a child, if you're not a mother or a father, um, I would encourage you to pray for somebody that's in your family that's a firstborn that you believe that need these prayers. Because if you do that, it would do great justice for that person. And also, as you pray, you will see the hand of God intervene in the life of the firstborn. And as, as we read in the previous exhortation, that if it goes right for the firstborn, it will trickle over onto all the other siblings. Amen? So just a few scriptures to just to keep in mind as a confession. Psalms 89, 27. It said, also, I will make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth. Amen. And then we look at Psalms 92, 10. It say, but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of, a, of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. And Psalms 113, verse 7 to 8 says, he raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the needy out of the downhill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. Amen. So that's the word of God right there. Deuteronomy 28, 13. This is critical. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only. Amen. So that's the word of God for you, Deuteronomy 28, 13. And then Philippians 1, 6, it says, being confident of this very thing, that he had begun, or that he had begun a good work in you, will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I will pray today that as we pray for these firstborn, that God will perfect all that concerns you until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're going to pray prophetically over these firstborns. Like I said, if you are not a firstborn and you're a parent, pray for the firstborn child of yours. If you are not a parent, pray for your firstborn sibling if you have one. And if you don't have any of those, pray for a firstborn in your family or a firstborn you know. Maybe your spouse is a firstborn. Pray for them. All right, so let's pray some prayers now. Let's Before we get there, I just want us to take the opportunity and ask the Lord for mercy. Have mercy upon the firstborn in our families. Have mercy upon our firstborn children. Have mercy upon, you know, um, all, uh, all the firstborn that we come in contact with that matters to us. Just cry out to the Lord and ask him for mercy. Have mercy upon you if, you know, the generational curse has blocked you off your inheritance as a firstborn or your children inheritance as a firstborn let's just cry out to the lord and ask him for mercy father we cry out to you right now in the name of jesus here's your children lord and they're looking to you god to benefit from the inheritance of the firstborn father by your mercy set them free from generational yokes and curses set them free from the agenda of the wicked set them free from the wickedness of the wicked Father, lay your hands upon them, O oh God, and let them enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Father, be their defender, be their protector, be their master, be their shield and the lifter of their heads. Mighty God, I praise your name and I say, let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for you are mighty. Thank you for you are excellent. Thank you for you are great and greatly to be praised. Father, receive our prayers now as we cry out on behalf of the firstborn. Father, Lord, I pray, O oh God, that every firstborn that will stand here to pray today and those that are representing the firstborn, Father, do something great in their life in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy prevail, O oh God. Let your power manifest, O oh God. Take all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. 
All right, so we're going to pray these prophetic prayers for the firstborn right now. So please cry out this one. For those on YouTube, please take the opportunity to like the video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and hit the notification bell so whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. And for those on TikTok, thank you for power tapping and um, giving as needed. All right, so let's pray this one. Every sin of my father's, Haunting and perverting my destiny. By the blood of Jesus, I nullify you today. In the name of Jesus, every sin of my fathers. Haunting and perverting my destiny. By the blood of Jesus, I nullify you today. In the name of Jesus, every sin of my fathers. Haunting and perverting my destiny. By the blood of Jesus. I nullify you today in the name of Jesus. Every sin of my fathers, haunting and perverting my destiny by the blood of Jesus. I nullify you today in the name of Jesus. Every sin of my fathers, haunting and perverting my destiny by the blood of Jesus. I nullify you today in the name of Jesus. Every sin of my fathers, haunting and perverting my destiny by the blood of Jesus. I nullify you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every agenda of failure and hardship over my life as the firstborn, I cancel it today. In the name of Jesus, every agenda of failure and hardship over my life as the firstborn, I cancel it today. In the name of Jesus, Every agenda of failure and hardship over my life as the firstborn, I cancel it today. In the name of Jesus, every agenda of failure and hardship over my life as the firstborn, I cancel it today. In the name of Jesus, every agenda of failure and hardship over my life as the firstborn, I cancel it today. In the name of Jesus, Every agenda of failure and hardship over my life as the firstborn, I cancel it today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every spirit of profitless labor assigned to my life by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I separate from you today. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of profitless labor Assigned to my life by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I separate myself from you today. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of profitless labor. Assigned to my life by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I separate myself from you today. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of profitless labor. Assigned to my life by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I separate myself from you today. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of profitless labor assigned to my life by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I separate myself from you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The spirit of error will not have a place in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of error will not have a place in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of error will not have a place in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of error will not have a place in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of error will not have a place in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of error will not have a place in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of error will not have a place in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of error will not, will not have a place in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of error will not have a place in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of error will not have a place in my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What stopped my father will not stop me. What stopped my mother will not stop me. 
in the journey of destiny. In the name of Jesus, what stopped my father will not stop me. What stopped my mother will not stop me. In the journey of destiny, in the name of Jesus, what stopped my father will not stop me. What stopped my mother will not stop me. In the journey of destiny, in the name of Jesus, what stopped my father will not stop me. What stopped my mother will not stop me. In the journey of destiny, in the name of Jesus, what stopped my father will not stop me. What stopped my mother will not stop me. In the journey of destiny, in the name of Jesus, what stopped my father will not stop me. What stopped my mother will not stop me. In the journey of destiny, in the name of Jesus, what stopped my father will not stop me. What stopped my mother will not stop me. In the journey of destiny, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Covenant of struggle and hardship. Working in my lineage. My case is different. Break. In the name of Jesus. Covenant of struggle and hardship. Working in my lineage. My case is different. Break. In the name of Jesus. Covenant of struggle and hardship. Working in my lineage. My case is different. Break. In the name of Jesus. Covenant of struggle and hardship. Working in my lineage. My case is different. Break. In the name of Jesus. Covenant of struggle and hardship. Working in my lineage. My case is different. Break. In the name of Jesus. Covenant of struggle and hardship. Working in my lineage. My case is different. Break. In the name of Jesus. Covenant of struggle and hardship. Working in my lineage. My case is different. Break in the name of Jesus. Covenant of struggle and hardship. Working in my lineage. My case is different. Break in the name of Jesus. Covenant of struggle and hardship. Working in my lineage. My case is different. Break in the name of Jesus. Covenant of struggle and hardship. Working in my lineage. My case is different. Break in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Fire of deliverance. Visit the foundation of my life today for a power purging and cleansing. In the name of Jesus, fire of deliverance. Visit the foundation of my life today for a power purging and cleansing. In the name of Jesus, fire of deliverance. Visit the foundation of my life today for a power purging and cleansing. In the name of Jesus, fire of deliverance. Visit the foundation of my life today for a thorough purging and cleansing. In the name of Jesus, fire of deliverance. Visit the foundation of my life today for a thorough purging and cleansing. In the name of Jesus, fire of deliverance. Visit the foundation of my life today for a thorough purging and cleansing. In the name of Jesus, fire of deliverance. Visit the foundation of my life today for a tower purging and cleansing. In the name of Jesus, fire of deliverance. Visit the foundation of my life today for a tower purging and cleansing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Spirit of limitation. Working against my life. Release me now. In the name of Jesus, spirit of limitation. Working against my life. Release me now. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of limitation. Working against my life. Release me now. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of limitation. Working against my life. Release me now. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of limitation. Working against my life. Release me now. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of limitation. Working against my life. Release me now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of limitation working against my life. Release me now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of limitation working against my life. Release me now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of limitation working against my life. Release me now 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As the firstborn, I receive the grace to achieve and be a good example. In the name of Jesus, as the firstborn, I receive the grace to achieve and be a good example. In the name of Jesus, as the firstborn, I receive the grace to achieve and be a good example. In the name of Jesus, as the firstborn, I receive the grace to achieve and be a good example. In the name of Jesus, as the firstborn, I receive the grace to achieve and be a good example. In the name of Jesus, as the firstborn, I receive the grace to achieve and be a good example. In the name of Jesus, as the firstborn, I receive the grace to achieve and be a good example. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Everything I lay my hands upon shall be easy. In the name of Jesus, everything I lay my hands upon shall be easy. In the name of Jesus, everything I lay my hands upon shall be easy. In the name of Jesus, everything I lay my hands upon shall be easy. In the name of Jesus, Everything I lay my hands upon shall be easy. In the name of Jesus, everything I lay my hands upon shall be easy. In the name of Jesus, everything I lay my hands upon shall be easy. In the name of Jesus, everything I lay my hands upon shall be easy. In the name of Jesus, everything I lay my hands upon shall be easy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I wear the garment of favor and help. Everywhere I turn to, people will rise to favor and help me to fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I wear the garment of favor and help. Everywhere I turn to, people will rise to favor and help me to fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I wear the garment of favor and help. Everywhere I turn to, people will rise to favor and help me to fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I wear the garment of favor and help. Everywhere I turn to, people will rise to favor and help me to fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I wear the garment of favor and help. Everywhere I turn to, people will rise to favor and help me to fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I wear the garment of favor and help to fulfill my destiny. Everywhere I turn to, people will rise to favor and help me to fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I wear the garment of favor and help. Everywhere I turn to, People will rise to favor and help me fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I wear the garment of favor and help everywhere I turn to. People will rise to favor and help me to fulfill my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, life shall be easy for me. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of Holy Ghost, life shall be easy for me. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, life shall be easy for me. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of Holy Ghost, life shall be easy for me. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of Holy Ghost, life shall be easy for me. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of Holy Ghost, life shall be easy for me. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of Holy Ghost, life shall be easy for me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I cancel every covenant of short life. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every covenant of short life. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every covenant of short life. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every covenant of short life. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every covenant of short life. 
in the name of Jesus, I cancel every covenant of short life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The, in the journey of destiny, I will not miss my position as the head. In the name of Jesus, in the journey of destiny, I will not miss my position as the head. In the name of Jesus, in the journey of destiny, I will not miss my position as the head. In the name of Jesus, in the journey of destiny, I will not miss the position of the head. In the name of Jesus, in the journey of destiny, I will not miss my position as the head. In the name of Jesus, in the journey of destiny, I will not miss my position as the head. In the name of Jesus, in the journey of destiny, I will not miss my position as the head. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the anointing, I attract helpers for every stage in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing, I attract helpers for every stage in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing, I attract helpers for every stage in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing, I attract helpers for every stage in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing, I attract, attract helpers for every stage in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing, I attract helpers for every stage in the journey of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power that has vowed that I will not go forward in life, I decree, I decree your demise today. In the name of Jesus, any power that has vowed that I will not go forward in life, I decree your demise today. In the name of Jesus, any power that has vowed that I will not go forward in life, I decree your death today. In the name of Jesus, any power that has vowed that I will not go forward in life, I decree your demise today. In the name of Jesus, any power that has vowed that I will not go forward in life, I decree your demise today. In Jesus' name we pray. Man, I will not be a victim of errors in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus, I will not be a victim of errors in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus, I will not be a victim of error in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus, I will not be a victim of errors in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus, I will not be a victim of errors in the journey of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, let my voice be heard in high places. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let my voice be heard in high places. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let my voice be heard in high places. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, let my voice be heard in high places. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let my voice be heard in high places. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let my voice be heard in high places. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any mark of disfavor on my life, by the blood of Jesus, I wash it off. In the name of Jesus, any mark of disfavor on my life, by the blood of Jesus, I wash it off. In the name of Jesus, any mark of disfavor on my life, by the blood of Jesus, I wash it off. In the name of Jesus, any mark of disfavor on my life.
by the blood of Jesus. I wash it off in the name of Jesus. Any mark of disfavor on my life by the blood of Jesus. I wash it off in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Lord, let the fragrance of your glory come upon my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let the fragrance of your glory come upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let the fragrance of your glory come upon my life. In the name of Jesus, my God, let the fragrance of your glory come upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let the fragrance of your glory come upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let the fragrance of your glory come upon my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I receive strength and grace to be an achiever as the firstborn in my family. In the name of Jesus, I receive strength and grace to be an achiever as the firstborn in my family. In the name of Jesus, I receive strength and grace to be an achiever as the firstborn in my family. In the name of Jesus, I receive strength, strength and favor to be a firstborn in my family. In the name of Jesus, I receive strength and grace to be an achiever as the firstborn in my family. In the name of Jesus, I receive strength and grace to be an achiever as the firstborn in my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power fighting my prosperity as the leader in this family, I fight you back. In the name of Jesus, any power fighting my prosperity as the firstborn in this family, I fight you back. In the name of Jesus, any power fighting my prosperity as the firstborn in this family, I fight you back. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power Fighting my prosperity as the leader in this family. I fight you back in the name of Jesus. Any power fighting my prosperity as the, as the leader in this family. I fight you back in the name of Jesus. Any power fighting my prosperity. As the leader in this family, I fight you back. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. On the ladder of life, I shall not be on the ground. In the name of Jesus, on the ladder of life, I shall not be on the ground. In the name of Jesus, on the ladder of life, I shall not be on the ground. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the resurrected power of Jesus, every inherited deadness in my life come alive. In the name of Jesus, by the resurrected power of Jesus, every inherited deadness in my life come alive. In the name of Jesus, by the resurrected power of Jesus, every inherited deadness in my life come alive. In the name of Jesus, by the resurrected power of Jesus, every inherited deadness in my life come alive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So if you're a firstborn, gather yourself. We're going to pray. Get your anointing on. If you're praying for your child as a firstborn or a relative that's a firstborn, if you have their picture, you can take it out. We're going to pray some prayers for them. 
And um, if you don't have any of those, just stand in faith and believe. It's all you need is faith. And we're going to pray some prayers and we're going to confess a few things over them. All right. All right. So let's um, quickly just do that right now. I'm going to pray two more prayer points before we start. So just two prayer points for you to get ready. And then we'll get started. Let's pray this one. I announce that in my family, my case is different. My life shall be easy for me. In the name of Jesus, I announce that in my family, my case is different. My, my life shall be easy for me. In the name of Jesus, I announce that in my family, my case is different. Life shall be easy for me. In the name of Jesus, I announce that in my family, my case is different. Life shall be easy for me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so let's get ready to pray over the firstborn. Let's grab your picture. If you have your firstborn before you, just put some anointing oil on the head or your forehead or whatever. If you're the firstborn, anoint yourself. And if you don't have any of those, just pray in faith. So I want to do this confession and you say it after me. And then we are going to continue a few more prayers before we wrap up. Let's pray this one. Let's confess it after me. I am a firstborn. I am the beginning of strength of my household. I am the excellency of dignity, excellency of power. I shall not be a deficit unto the world. I shall be as stable as a rock. I shall excel and no one shall defile me. I shall not die a grievous death. I shall not be an infant of days. Neither shall, be, neither shall I be an adult that has not fulfilled his ears. I shall have the might of Samson, but not his carelessness. I shall have the wisdom of Solomon, not his wardom. I shall have the holiness of Job, and not his calamities. I shall possess the gates of my enemies. I shall not be subject to pain or poverty. The enemy shall not outwit me. The Lord shall anoint me with the oil of gladness above my fellows. The fire of the enemy shall not burn me. I dedicate myself this day to God, to the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Right? So that's pretty much the confession for the firstborn. As you have said it, I will repeat it for you. And then we're going to get into more prayers. So we're going to say it again. I'm going to say it again for you. I will do it faster. I am a firstborn. I am the beginning of strength of my household. I am the excellency of dignity, excellency of power. I shall not be a deficit unto the world. I shall be as stable as a rock. I shall excel and no one shall defile me. I shall not die a deep grievous death. I shall not be an infant of days. Neither shall I be an adult that has not fulfilled his years. I shall have the might of Samson, but not his carelessness. I shall have the wisdom of Solomon, not his wardom. I shall have the holiness of Job and not his calamities. I shall possess the gates of my enemies. I shall not be subject to pain or poverty. The enemy shall not outwit me. The Lord shall anoint me with the oil of gladness above my fellows. The fire of the enemy shall not burn me. I dedicate myself this day to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, so we're going to pray some more prayers now. As you have anointed yourself and you have repeat that confession, it's time to get into prayer. Let's pray this one. I reverse every satanic pattern of sickness. Running in my family. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every satanic pattern of sickness. Running in my family. 
In the name of Jesus, I reverse every satanic pattern of sickness running in my family. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every satanic pattern of sickness running in my family. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every satanic pattern of sickness running in my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I reverse every satanic pattern of poverty running in my family. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every satanic pattern of poverty running in my family. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every satanic pattern of poverty running in my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I reverse every satanic pattern of no help running in my family. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every satanic pattern of no help running in my family. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every satanic pattern of no help running in my family in jesus name we're praying amen i reverse every satanic pattern of sudden death running in my family in the name of jesus i reverse every satanic pattern of sudden death running in my family in the name of jesus i reverse Every satanic pattern of sudden death running in my family. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every satanic pattern of sudden death running in my family. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every satanic pattern of sudden death running in my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I wear a garment of favor and help as the firstborn. Everything that has been difficult before shall become easy. In the name of Jesus, I wear a new garment of favor and help as the firstborn. Everything that has been difficult before shall become easy. In the name of Jesus, I wear a new garment of favor and help as the firstborn. Everything that has been difficult before shall become easy. In the name of Jesus, I wear a new garment of favor and help as the firstborn. Everything that has been difficult before shall become easy. In the name of Jesus, I wear a garment of favor and help as the firstborn, everything that has been difficult before shall become easy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Through me, the name of my family shall be known for good. In the name of Jesus, through me, the name of my family shall be known for good. In the name of Jesus, through me, the name of my family shall be known for good. In the name of Jesus, through me, the name of my family shall be known for good. In the name of Jesus, through me, the name of my family shall be known for good. In the name of Jesus, through me, the name of my family shall be known for good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. From today, I am a living wonder to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, from today, I am a living wonder to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, from today, I am a living wonder to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, from today, I am a living wonder to the glory of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. From today, through me, my family history shall be rewritten for better. In the name of Jesus, from today, through me, my family history shall be rewritten for better. 
in the name of Jesus, from today, through me, my family history shall be rewritten for better. In the name of Jesus, from today, through me, my family history shall be rewritten for better. In the name of Jesus, from today, through me, the family's history shall be rewritten for better. In the name of Jesus, from today, through me, the family's history shall be rewritten for better. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every parental curse that is demoting my life be broken by the blood of Jesus. Every parental curse that is demoting my life be broken in the name of Jesus. Every parental curse that is demoting my life be broken by the blood of Jesus. Every parental curse that is demoting my life be broken by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any covenant my ancestors might have made over my life as a firstborn be broken in the name of Jesus. Any covenant my ancestors might have made over my life as a firstborn be broken in the name of Jesus. Any covenant my ancestors might have made over my life as a firstborn be broken in the name of Jesus. Any covenant my ancestors might have made over my life as a firstborn be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every witchcraft aggression against my star die. In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft aggression against my star die. In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft aggression against my star die. In the name of Jesus, Every witchcraft aggression against my star, die. In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft aggression against my star, die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power redirecting my star, die. In the name of Jesus, any power redirecting my star, Die in the name of Jesus. Any power redirecting my star. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power redirecting my star. Die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every arrow of backwardness fired into my star. Die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of backwardness. Fired into my star. Die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of backwardness. Fired into my star. Die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of backwardness. Fired into my star. Die in Jesus name we pray. Amen. I shall become a star in my generation. In the name of Jesus. I shall become a star in my generation. In the name of Jesus, I shall become a star in my generation. In the name of Jesus, I shall become a star in my generation. In the name of Jesus, I shall become a star in my generation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every paternal and maternal pronouncement issued against my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Every paternal and maternal pronouncement issued against my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Every paternal and maternal pronouncement issued against my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Every paternal and maternal pronouncement issued against my life. Die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray for you and I decree that for you as a firstborn, 
that your firstborn potential shall not be caged in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that every satanic assignment assigned to bury your firstborn star will scatter in the name of Jesus. I reject the spirit of the tail over your life as a firstborn. And I claim the spirit and the position of the head over your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for you by the power in the blood of Jesus. And I break every witchcraft agenda to exchange and manipulate your star in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that every curse and affliction working against you, the firstborn in your father's house, that curse and affliction will die in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that every dedication working against you as a firstborn, Dedication that is evil, that is working against you, I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pray for you and I destroy the, any power and the power of any Herod assigned to trouble you as a firstborn and to trouble your destiny in the name of Jesus. I pray that the hand of God will be upon you and I pray that you begin to shine in greater lights in the mighty name of Jesus. As you are the firstborn, you are the excellence and the dignity of the power of God. And so today I sent you out to go forth and arise and shine in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we wrap up, let's just pray a few more prayers and that's it. Let's cry out this one to the Lord. Let's pray this one loud and clear. Every power assigned to turn my life upside down be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to turn my life upside down be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to turn my life upside down be destroyed in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, scatter them by your power. They that devise my fall in the name of Jesus, scatter them by your power, oh Lord. They that divide my fall in the name of Jesus, scatter them by your power, O Lord. They that divide my fall in the name of Jesus, scatter them by your power, O Lord. They that divide my fall in the name of Jesus, scatter them by your power, O Lord. They that divide my fall in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let my enemies be taken in their pride. In the name of Jesus, let my enemies be taken in their pride. In the name of Jesus, let my enemies be taken in their pride. In the name of Jesus, let my enemies be taken in their pride. In the name of Jesus, let my enemies be taken in their pride. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give me help from troubles, for vain is the help of man. In the name of Jesus, give me help from troubles, for vain is the help of man. In the name of Jesus, give me help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. In the name of Jesus, give me help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. In the name of Jesus, give me help from troubles, O Lord, for vain is the help of man. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O Lord, let your arrows pursue and locate every wicked power targeted against me. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, let your arrows pursue and locate. Every wicked power targeted against me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your arrow pursue and locate every wicked power targeted against me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Through God, I shall do valiantly, for he shall track down my enemies. In the name of Jesus, through God, I shall do valiantly. For he shall track down my enemies in the name of Jesus. Through God, I shall do valiantly. For he shall track down my enemies in the name of Jesus. Through God, I shall do valiantly. For he shall track down my enemies in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Those that seek my soul to destroy it. It shall go down into the lower parts of the earth. In the name of Jesus. Those that seek my soul to destroy it. It shall go down into the lower parts of the earth. In the name of Jesus. Those that seek my soul to destroy it. It shall go down into the lower parts of the earth. In the name of Jesus. Those that seek my soul to destroy it. It shall go down into the lower parts of the earth. In the name of Jesus. Those that seek my soul to destroy it. It shall go down into the lower parts of the earth. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. My problem shall fall by the sword and shall be a portion for foxes. In the name of Jesus, my problem shall fall by the sword and shall be a portion for foxes. In the name of Jesus, my problem shall fall by the sword and shall be a portion for foxes. In the name of Jesus, my problem shall fall by the sword and shall be a portion for foxes. In the name of Jesus, my problems shall fall by the sword and shall be a portion for foxes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hear my voice, O God. Preserve me from the fear of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, hear my voice, O God. Preserve me from the fear of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, hear my voice, O God. Preserve me from the fear of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, hear my voice, O God. Preserve me from the fear of the enemy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hide me, O God, from the secret counsel of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, hide me, O God. From the secret counsel of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. Hide me, O God. From the secret counsel of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. Hide me, O God. From the secret counsel of the wicked. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So let's just take the opportunity. Let's just begin to thank God for answering these prayers. Let's thank him for hearing us. Let's thank him for answering us to the glory of his name. Let's thank him because he's a great and mighty God. He's all powerful. He's all sufficient. He's the king of kings. He is the Lord of Lord. He's too faithful to fail. Let's thank him for you have got the ability to pray on behalf of the firstborn. Or if you are firstborn, you have prayed, you know, and asking God for, you know, prophetically these prayers that you have prayed that he would use it to do a new thing in your life. Let's just thank him for all the wonderful things that he will do for you as a result of these prayers that you prayed. Let's thank him for his faithfulness. Let's thank him. Let's thank him because he's a great God. He's worthy to be praised. He's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Let's thank him because he's just. Let's thank him because he's our deliverer. Let's thank him for he's our restorer. Let's thank him for he's our mountain mover, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, we praise your name and we say, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Lord, you have said it in your word that God, you will never leave us forsaken, neither leave us to beg for bread. Thank you, O oh God, for these prayers that we pray for the firstborn. Lord, you will manifest your power in their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, to you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. Lord, we have cried and now we ask you, O oh God, mighty Father, to answer our prayers. We also pray that any power, any wicked force that wants to attack us because of these prayers, Lord, mighty Father, they will backfire in the name of Jesus. We pray and decree that no weapon that is formed against us will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, it is condemned by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you that there will be no reinforcement, no regrouping or regathering of the enemy against us because of our prayers. We thank you that we will testify of the goodness of God in our lives. Cover our lives and our families in the blood of Jesus. Glorify yourself, almighty God. Take all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so thank you so much. And this is the hour of fire. This is the hour where we trust God to do great and mighty things in our lives. 
This is the hour that we ask God to turn things around and manifest his power in our lives. Um, before you go, if you're on TikTok, just go over to our YouTube channel and subscribe to the channel. And for those that are on YouTube, don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel before you go. Also, um, hit the notification bell so whenever we come here live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. And don't forget to take advantage of all the prayers that is on the channel that is there for you to pray your way to victory. All right, so this is the Hour of Fire. I trust that you are blessed from today's um, prayer program. Trust that you, who is the firstborn, or those that you're standing in the gap for, will be blessed from these prayers. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.